I get, I'm getting so emotional. Two, sorry. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Ms. Liza. Okay. Hi, um, good evening to everyone there. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much, um, especially to Clarice for taking, I mean, putting out so much time to organize this event. And for, um, I just wanted to thank Gabriela Youth also for inviting me. Like I was telling um, Clarice the other day, I'm very nervous about this. Um, and I wasn't very prepared, like I didn't get to um, make a speech or anything because I'm in America right now and I've, I've been taking care of my grandma. So um, I just wanna say thank you again uh, for giving me this opportunity to speak up and to spread awareness to not only my fans, but hopefully to more women and children um, in the Philippines. And I would just like to start off by sharing a bit why um, I find it so important to start speaking up about societal issues, especially violence against women and children. Um, my experience with this is during the pandemic, um, a lot of tragedies and hardships were happening, not only to women and children, but a lot of people in general, not just in the Philippines, but in the whole world. And there was one day that I came across um, a tweet that Senator Risa Honteveros posted on Twitter, talking about the increase in online sexual exploitation of children during the pandemic because of the access to internet um, and the lack of awareness that this is an issue that has been going on in the Philippines for the longest time. And um, I know I haven't always been the most vocal about my opinions and about the advocacies that I feel very strong for because I was always afraid that I would be dividing my supporters. Um, I was afraid of creating conflict because um, ang paniniwala ko po dati na pag artista ka, dapat umiiwas ka sa lahat ng issues, dapat um, we just keep talking about our craft and um, the next movie we're making and everything. Because I was afraid that people would judge me. They would say, no, what do I know? I'm just a girl. I'm just an actress. But then I realized, especially um, most recently when there was someone who um, made a sexual abuse comment towards me, I realized the impact of me standing up for myself especially after I filed a criminal case against somebody who made a rape joke against me. And a lot of my supporters, actually, I think there were five, um, messaged me and were saying thank you. And honestly, I cried when they sent me those messages because I didn't realize how many women were struggling to stand up for themselves. Sorry, I get kind of emotional <laughs> because I've had experience of, of not, not firsthand experience. I'm actually very privileged and blessed to have, I get, I'm getting so emotional too, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I know a lot of women in my life who have struggled with this. And I find it so unfair that we women have to go out every day in fear of being catcalled, in fear of dressing a certain way and getting called out for the way we're dressed. And I fear that my nieces and my future children won't be able to go out into a safe environment. And that's why I find it so important to start spreading awareness to the future generations as early as now, so that we can create a better future for everyone. Um, what else? Sorry, I kind of like bulleted everything I wanted to say just to make sure I get everything down. Okay, um, what else? Sorry, I kind of like bulleted everything I wanted to say just to make sure I get everything down. Okay, um, Okay, uh, the norm of society has conditioned women and children to stay quiet when dealing with hardships and struggles because nobody is going to do anything anyway. Yet why do they also expect us women, women alike and children to remain resilient through these struggles? Because change cannot just be the responsibility of the people who need it most. They need the support of everyone, especially those of the highest power if we are to see true change. And as a woman, as a Filipino artist, 
um, I think that women, women and influencers alike should start speaking up and they can contribute not only awareness about these issues, but also encouragement and confidence to our fellow women and children that they need to learn to stand up for themselves. I know it's easier said than done and not all of us have the luxury or the, the confidence or power or support system to do so. But based on my own experience, um, when I saw more and more of my friends starting to speak up about issues that mattered to them, like at the Angel Luxin, or even my idols like um, Angelina Jolie, Emma Watson, and the likes, whenever they speak up, it gives me, it empowers me, and it gives me the courage to start speaking up about these issues too, because they matter, and we need to start seeing change in the world. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Sorry for being so emotional. Thank you so much, Ms. Liza, for making time to join us tonight. I'm sure that all your fans and everyone listening and watching us tonight uh, is inspired with everything you've shared. So uh, after, uh, afterwards, you want to call on Ms. Clarice Palse for a response? Yeah. Um, we would just... Uh, we, we'd... Gusto lang namin magpasalamat. No? Um, we're really grateful for the interest and yung willingness ni Ms. Liza Severano to learn um, women's rights, to learn the different issues uh, young women are facing right now. And lalo na si Ms. Liza, um, nasa ibang bansa siya ngayon, at talagang madaling araw na ngayon. Pero nakita natin yung effort niya na uh, jumoin sa discussion para mapakinggan yung experiences ng um, young women mula sa um, Tondo community na kung saan isa sa pinakamahirap na community sa Philippines at mapakinggan yung mga legal aspects na diniscuss ni Attorney Mini mula sa Gabriela Services. So, ayun, gusto lang namin magpasalamat sa lahat ng speakers kay Ms. Lanzana na tuloy-tuloy sa um, pag-speak up, tuloy-tuloy sa kanyang um, um, commitment no sa courage na pinapakita niya para sa karapatan ng mga bata, karapatan ng mga kababaihan despite the fact na siya ay public figure na talagang ano eh nakitang-kita ng kanyang mga tagapanood um, sinusubaybayan yung kanyang buhay pero hindi siya natakot at talagang nag um, stand firmly siya para um, ipakrinig ang kanyang boses para sa karapatan ng nakararami. So, yun lang. Gusto namin magpasalamat kay Ms. Liza Soberano para sa kanyang time and effort para sa activity ng Gabriela Youth. So, maraming salamat po. So before we conclude this webinar, so maybe uh, we can take a picture with Ms. Liza. So can we request all the participants to please turn on their cameras? Isang trending na hashtag na nga ngayon ang hashtag Boycott Liza Zuberano sa Twitter. Matapos mabalitaan ng mga netizens ang pagkakaroon nito ng koneksyon sa Gabriela Youth. Nagalit ang mga netizens dahil hindi magandang organisasyon ang kanyang sinusuportahan. Isa ang radio host na si Ginoong Mark Lopez sa nakpakita ng galit at sunod-sunod na nagpost sa kanyang Facebook account. Sabi nito, Multinationals and brands which hired Liza Soberano as endorser should now disassociate and distance themselves because of her T-E-R-R-O-R-I-S-T link. Parents, if you love your children, tell them to stay away from Liza Zuberano. She is a danger to society. Liza Zuberano is no longer fit to be a role model, especially when she abets and endorses T-E-R-R-O-R-I-S-T groups which have destroyed our country. S-A-L-O T ka na rin sa lipunan. Shame on you, Liza Zuberano. Sabi naman ng isang netizen na si Tio Moreno, Dear Liza, as one of your avid fans, we've forgiven you on your shallow ideas about the hashtag Junk TV Now Blitz on Twitter. Imagine, it's now a law, but everyone is still free to wear his or her descent. We also let you vent out on Jennifer Laude's case even if you don't know what the Republic Act 10592 or the GCTA law and its IRR revision on 2019 all about. 
I know that you have the freedom to choose but Gabriela Youth is a wrong choice. I wonder if you've done a background check on this organization before joining them because to be honest, you are proving your haters that ganda lang talaga ang labanan. Samantala, sabi naman ng isang lawyer na si Attorney Nick, Sigurado kang alam mo ang pinapasok mo, Liza? Alam mo ba talaga kung ano ang organisasyon na yan at kung ano ang nangyayari sa mga nire-recruit nilang kabataan? Kilala mo rin ba ang mga 60s beauty queens na sina Nelia Sancho at Maita Gomez? Noong panahon nila, wala pa ang AT Act. Ngayon, meron na. Alam mo rin ba kung ano ang epekto ng ATA sa CPP, mga organisasyong kasabwat nito at mga kasapi? Sayang ang ganda mo kung hindi mo alam ang mga yan. Sayang din ang karir mo kung ipipilit mong makipagsabwatan sa mga yan. Sabagay, buhay mo ang itinataya mo. Harapin mo na lang kung ano ang kahihinatnan mo. Yan ang sabi ni Atty. Nick para kay Liza Soberano. Ano ang masasabi mo sa video na ito? Kung may nice kang sabihin, maaari kang magbahagi ng iyong opinion sa comment section. Thank you guys!